विद्यार्थी मित्र मैत्रिणींनो नमस्कार नाव वी शॅल डील विथ लेक्चर नंबर फिफ्टीन दॅट इज रिलेटेड टू द अनालिसिस ऑफ क्वालिटेटिव्ह डेटा इन मोस्ट ऑफ द रिसर्च स्टडीज देर आर नो स्टँडर्डाइज टूल्स अवेलेबल फॉर एक्झाम्पल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेजर द ओपिनियन सर्व्हे और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कॅरी आउट द ओपिनियन सर्व्हे रिगार्डिंग अ स्पेसिफिक प्रॉडक्ट another thing you want to understand the efficiency of the workers working in one organization there are no such standardized tools for that and then you have to collect data regarding that then generally what you do you prepare a questionnaire or an interview schedule and collect data in that some of the questions they are open end questions some are closed end questions and some are multiple choice question and i told you that closed end questions and multiple choice questions they are structured so their analysis is relatively easy and more reliable on the contrary when you are asking open end question in that case the answer is not related to one or two responses sometimes it can be one sentence it can be one page and sometimes it can be 10 pages now in such cases what happens it is rather very difficult to analyze it quantitatively and hence its analysis should be done qualitatively analysis of qualitative data totally depends upon content analysis and nowadays there is a fashion or there is a trend to go for the qualitative analysis i told you in the beginning that reliability and validity of quantitative data are relatively better than the reliability and validity of qualitative data the reason is very simple whenever an object is shown to you everybody perceives from his own perspective and i gave you an example of jnu okay x party thinks that whatever happens in jnu is bad y party thinks that whatever happened in jnu is not bad i don't say good but not bad so it all depends upon your perception now you know sensation you know very well attention you know very well can any one of you tell you what actually we mean by perception in fact all your life events they depend upon whether your success or your failure it depends upon your perception what is perception i can give you a, an example through which you can understand the meaning of perception i have said the word throttle t h r o t t l e t h r o t t l e throttle how many of you know the meaning of this but you got auditory per sensation okay whatever that i have said through which you got auditory sensation you got sensation but you do not know the meaning of that so you could not transform your sensation into perception another word i can use here topiaco what is the meaning of topiaco you don't know but you got auditory sensation okay but there is no perception tumhala ha shabd maiti hai sabudana kasha pasun tayar kartat mait nahi topiaco navacha je kand asta tyacha pasun te tayar kartat these topiacos they are available in keral area now you see topiaco when i said first time it was just only sensation ata tumhala tyacha arth prapt jhala okay so write down when sensation is attributed with 
when sensation is attributed with meaning it is called perception when sensation is attributed with meaning it is called perception now many a times you will find that when people they are speaking in english we assume that we have understood everything reality is that in most cases 90% of the speech you haven't understood because what happens what is in my mind which i cannot convey you straight away so what i speak that you take it or you color it according to your own desires these are the difficulties that is why perception is necessary in content analysis the same thing is required what the speaker has spoken what the writer has written in the book what the writer has written in the research article you must be able to take out or extract the exact meaning of that then only you will find that you can understand it our quarrel quarrel between the old generation and the young generation is that young generation thinks that whatever that is available on laptop on web that is the knowledge our answer is not that when i read a book if i read one page if i do not understand i shall repeat it again if there are some difficult words i can refer a dictionary and understand them and unless i understand the meaning of that i shall not go to the second page what happens with your laptop technology without understanding you are cutting that portion and pasting it there all your research work mostly is nothing but cut and paste what is the use of such research just tell me i can understand this will help you in fetching phd degree but afterward what are you continuing your further research work the answer is no if you ask me what is your contribution after your phd i can tell you dozens of research papers published in indian and foreign journals what is the use of those research papers i can claim that one of the old theory that has been challenged and the new approaches were accepted by the others this is the necessity of any research फक्त पी एच डी मिळवण्याकरता जर तुम्ही रिसर्च करत असाल तर तिथे फुल स्टॉप आहे एवढं लक्षात ठेवा कंटेंट अनालिसिस एक्सपेक्ट दिस देन अबाउट कंटेंट अनालिसिस आय हॅव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू वेन कंटेंट अनालिसिस ऑफ द क्वालिटेटिव्ह डेटा आर बिंग डन देन ॲज आय टोल्ड यू फर्स्ट वर्ड्स आर काउंटेड देन कन्सेप्ट आर काउंटेड आफ्टर वर्ड थीम्स आर काउंटेड then meaningfulness that is semantic is considered and relevance is considered after considering these relevances then we generally go for quantitative analysis even in content analysis ata hai kasa karto samda tumhi data collect kela survey kela tya survey collect kelyanantar kahi kahi goshtinna ami code numbers deto udharnarth samda mala धर्माच्या आधारे क्लासिफिकेशन करायचं आहे सब्जेक्ट्स आय वॉन्ट टू क्लासिफाय द सब्जेक्ट्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देअर रिलीजन सो आय असाईन नंबर वन टू ख्रिश्चन्स आय असाईन नंबर टू टू मुस्लिम्स आय असाईन नंबर थ्री टू हिंदूज ओके अँड इन्स्टेड ऑफ युसिंग द टर्म ख्रिश्चन मुस्लिम हिंदू आय कॉल देम नंबर वन धिस कम्युनिटी was giving me similar type of responses which were in accordance with the norms of that society now you see what happens why this type of analysis is necessary in 1936 it was gw alport 
आणि ही जी नावं मी घेतो ना जी डब्ल्यू ऑलपोर्ट वगैरे हे आपल्यासारखी सामान्य नव्हती यांचा आय क्यू किती असेल असं तुम्हाला वाटतं युअर्स अँड माईन आय क्यू आपले आय क्यू किती असतील माहीत आहे जास्तीत जास्त एकशे वीस त्याच्या पलीकडे नाही आहे जे पी गिलफर्डचा आय क्यू किती होता माहिती आहे फक्त एकशे शहात्तर जी डब्ल्यू हलपोर्टचा आय क्यू किती होता माहिती आहे फक्त एकशे बासष्ट दे वर रिअल जिनियस अँड दॅट्स वाय दे हॅव डन ओरिजिनल रिसर्च वर्क and on the basis of that original research work what we are doing they have actually searched and now we are researching original works tenchi ahet and many a times you will find that we are just doing replications of the work done in foreign country and nothing else so such type of codification is done in qualitative analysis say for example for their income i want to classify them then i can give code numbers for 5000 to 10000 number 1 10000 to 15000 number 2 15000 to 2 20000 number 3 etc and afterward what we are doing we are counting the frequency manje varamvarta kiti lok christian hote त्यांचा नंबर म्हणजे फ्रिक्वेन्सी किती लोक हिंदू होते त्यांचा नंबर म्हणजे फ्रिक्वेन्सी किती लोक मुस्लिम होते त्यांचा नंबर म्हणजे फ्रिक्वेन्सी किंवा वारंवारता दीज फ्रिक्वेन्सीज दे टेलस हू आर डॉमिनेटिंग इन द सॅम्पल दॅट वी हॅव कलेक्टेड अँड वेदर देर इज डिफरन्स सिग्निफिकंट ऑर नॉट आता हाऊ वी डू इट in most of the survey research when content analysis is carried out then you have to use non parametric statistical technique ani ithe ami kay karto chi square test vaparto c h i kay s q u a r e square test hi test apan kashi calculate karaychi te apan pudha shiknar ata hot we are going to study that and on the basis of that we are deciding whether the difference is significant or not now most of you who are doing phd you are very well acquainted with two terms significant at point 01 level and significant at point 05 level all right of the record ah anyone who can tell me exact meaning of this scientific meaning ah significant at point 01 level and significant at point 05 level i shall pay him or her 500 rupees come on it's a challenge to your career now you have used these terms isn't it you have read these terms the results are significant at point 05 level and the results are significant at point 01 level come on माहीत नसतं आपल्याला ठोकून देतो चलता आहे दुसरं कुच नाही अँड येस वॉट इज परमिसिबल एरर Percent of the data would be accurate and 5% we are considering that there can be an error of 0.5%. I am sorry. 95% data are not accurate. 0.5%. <laughs> no. Okay, write down. But hereafter you will not get money. Okay? <laughs> write down. Small p li hai. It's a small p. Chota p. Less than. साईन लेस दॅन असं करायचं स्मॉल पी लेस दॅन पॉईंट झिरो वन इट मीन्स दॅट प्रॉबेबिलिटी ऑफ कमिटिंग द एरर इन द जजमेंट इट मीन्स दॅट 
probability of committing the error in the judgment probability of committing the error in the judgment is either 1 or less than 1 is either 1 or less than 1 in 100 cases this is the exact answer you people talk like lay persons sadke varun chalnara manus ani phd karnare yancha madhe farak asto ki nahi second one write down p less than 0.05 छोटा P लिहाय चा, capital P लिहाय चा ला ही, P less than 0 0.05, it means that probability of committing the error in the judgment probability of committing the error in the judgment is either 5 or less than 5 in 100 cases in 100 cases this is the scientific answer and that is why you will find that point 0 0.01 level is superior to point 0 0.05 level. Okay. After analyzing the data according to words and semantic etcetera, then we have to analyze the thoughts. And I told you many a times the thoughts given, they may not be scientific, but we believe them because we were taught to believe them. And I gave you examples. Okay. The simple example was that of this Maharushi has done 10 years tapasharya means what? Is it possible? Is it feasible? For 10 years can he sit in the same position? Thirst is there, tahanta lagna raza hai, bhuk lagna raza hai, nature's call ahetats, okay. And if not he has to sleep then what kind of tapasharya he is doing? Have you ever asked these questions? Research is that where you are raising the questions, where you are not trusting them or you are not believing them, whosoever he or she might be. Then only that is research. So, in content analysis, we analyze the thoughts. Whatever the thoughts they were given by the elderly people, the so called religious people or the respected people, to what extent they are relevant in the present situation, that is to be analyzed in content analysis. Along with their thoughts, they are preaching, they are suggesting something which they think that useful for the development of the society on the basis of their experience they are giving all these things. But in content analysis you have to analyze them objectively. Only because he is an elderly person you should not trust them and this objective evaluation is necessary. In the same way when a case study is being analyzed, so what kind of home atmosphere was, what type of child rearing practice was used. In some homes you will find that there is authoritarian child rearing practice. In some you will find that there is democratic child rearing practice and in some there is lazy fare. Kahi thikani wag. See, there are some houses, they were used to keep Barbie dolls, Mahagda dolls, they were used to keep Barbie dolls, they were used to keep Barbie dolls, 
लहान मुलांना सुद्धा खेळू द्यायचे नाही अथॉरिटेरियन पर्सनॅलिटी डॉल्स आर फॉर प्लेईंग नॉट फॉर डिस्प्लेईंग इन द कबर्ड्स ओके नाऊ द चिल्ड्रन आर प्लेईंग विथ द डॉल्स डेमोक्रेटिक बिहेवियर इन द थर्ड केस चिल्ड्रन आर रेडी टू डू एनिथिंग दे आर ब्रेकिंग ग्लासेस दे आर ब्रेकिंग डॉल्स एन अदर थिंग लेझी फेअर अफेअर्स सो इफ द चिल्ड्रन आर ग्रोन अप इन थ्री डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ होम ऍटमॉस्फिअर देअर पर्सनॅलिटी कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर बाउंड टू बी डिफरंट आय गेव यू अन एक्झाम्पल ऑफ द पीपल ट्रॅव्हलिंग इन मेट्रो इन लंडन हॅव यू एव्हर सीन इन मूव्ही or in tv or in any serial where the foreigners are going along with their children and their children are crying and shouting why it happens in your country it's a matter of training if there is a boy or girl of 5 years of age and he or she is ill taken to the hospital in london the hospital will admit that boy or girl and tell their parents go home itha yaycha nahi that is our responsibility is it possible here it is not possible here so it is the child rearing practices these are the effect of the cultural factors which are to be taken into consideration when you are analyzing any case history or any personality then school colleges friends we have already discussed okay so we have to take into consideration the holistic approach in order to analyze any case history any biography or an individual's personality that relates to the content analysis then there is another word that is communality of responses common word nahi hai nahi samjhat lokanna what is communality of responses that is also frequency on this one very good book was written in 1936 americans they wanted that all americans should learn english fast as fast as possible अमेरिकेनं डिसाईड केलं की आपल्या देशाची राष्ट्रभाषा ही इंग्रजी असायला पाहिजे ठीक आहे पण मग सगळ्यांना इंग्रजी यायला पाहिजे मग विच टेक्निक शुड बी युज्ड सो दे असाईन धीस टास्क टू टू सायकोलॉजिस्ट वन वॉज थॉर्नडाईक द अदर वन वॉज लॉर्ज एल ओ आर जी ई अँड दिस थॉर्नडाईक अँड लॉर्ज दे हॅव युज्ड कम्युनॅलिटी ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सेस त्यांचं पुस्तक प्रसिद्ध झालं आहे नाईन्टीन थर्टी सिक्सला टायटल ऑफ धिस बुक इज वर्क बुक फॉर टीचर्स हे पुस्तक एन सी आर टीच्या लायब्ररीमध्ये उपलब्ध आहे दिल्लीला वॉट दे हॅव डन दे हॅव रेफर्ड ऑल द अव्हेलेबल न्यूज पेपर्स मॅगझिन्स स्टोरी बुक्स ड्युरिंग दॅट पर्टिक्युलर इयर and they found out what are the common words they were used for writing down the reports story books or in the books kunte sope sope shabda ahet te tanni niwadle and their frequency that communality of response that was noted down on the basis of that five books were written kiti only five books book using 1000 words book using 2000 words book using 3000 words 4000 words and 5000 words only five books and these books were published in the name of or title ladder books ladder manje cd 1000 shabdanchi cd 2000 shabdant dusri pairi 3000 ti cd and do you know this simple technique taught english to every american could we not use in our country like that but we are interested in other things than these simple things this is communality of the responses and i gave you the example 
वर्ड अम्ब्रेला डिफिकल्ट पैरासॉल सिंपल ओके स्टील यू आर यूजिंग लेडीज अम्ब्रेला इज इजी फॉर यू बट पैरासॉल इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू बिकॉज कम्युनलिटी री ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सेस फॉर लेडीज अम्ब्रेला इज मोर इन इंडिया एंड फॉर पैरासॉल इट इज लेस इन इंडिया and that's why you will find that in content analysis it is necessary to make use of the communality of responses sometimes you will find that the people are rather habituated for using some specific words or specific terms that becomes their habit they become conditioned to that it is necessary for them to be deconditioned in order to avoid that habit but in research you will find that try to avoid the communality of the responses because it becomes monotonous udaharan tumha lokanna sangto objectives lihta tumhi thik hai mi vidyarthyana lihun deto pahila objective <coughs> to measure numerical ability of the subject त्यांच्या उरलेल्या पंधरा वीस ऑब्जेक्टिव्हमध्ये सुरुवात टू मेझरपासूनच होते कारण सरांनी लिहून दिलं पहिलं एक मग मी लिहितो टू असेस न्यूमरिकल ॲबिलिटी अर्थ तोच होतो ओके मग ते फक्त असेसच लिहितात आय कॉन्ट अंडरस्टँड वाय डोंट यू चेंज टू असेस टू मेझर टू एक्झामिन टू स्टडी टू इन्व्हेस्टिगेट so if you use different terms then you will find that the monotony of the responses is avoided and your research become more readable pahilanda the research paper vachna kiwa research the thesis vachna atyanta boring kaam asta barobar hai ani tyatai tumhi jar asha prakar chi monotony jar anli to bag anki tamasha hoto that's why i always tell people while carrying out research please think the moment you start thinking then you will find that your concepts and realities they become easier take a simple example there is a very good story or very interesting novel all right i asked you to read it for 30 times what will happen first two readings you will enjoy later on it will be boring agreed now you are asking your teachers to read the same idiotic answers written by you how many times shambhar paper majhya kade tapasayla alet thik hai ani tumhi dilili uttar ahet ti tyavarchi mi 30 ti uttar kiti divas kiti var parant vachu is it possible for me bore houn jata mag fakt tumhi pahato na mark takat jato ani mag tumhi oradta त्या दिवशी सरांचं बायकोशी भांडण झालं असेल म्हणून कमी मार्क दिलेत सी थिंकिंग इज मोर इम्पॉर्टंट दॅन बिलिव्हिंग ओके सो आय दर यू आर कॅरिंग आउट कंटेंट अनालिसिस ऑर यू आर अनालायझिंग द क्वालिटेटिव्ह डेटा थिंक अँड देन ओनली टेक द डिसिजन एनी क्वेश्चन एनी डिफिकल्टी एनी डाऊट sir we are using the codification in the qualitative analysis can we do the any type of mathematical ma- manipulation or uh, related with the codification given to the qualitative analysis what is mathematical manipulation what is mathematical manipulation and how you can do ma- mathematical analysis i mean means um, manipulation in qualitative data we don't use mathematics in research ha huh? in the field of mathematics you can use mathematic in all type of research we use only statistics okay either we are using parametric statistics or non parametric statistics even in scientific research science cha field madhe suddha hypothesis testing karta statistics vapartat mathematics vaparle jat nahi Mathematics is an abstract science. Okay? 
एंड दैट इज परफेक्ट साइंस यात कहीं वाद नहीं स्टैटिस्टिक्स इज मोर एप्लीकेबल एंड वी आर हैविंग सेवरल टेक्निक्स ऑफ टेस्टिंग द हाइपोथेसिस आई कैन टेस्ट विथ टी टेस्ट आई कैन टेस्ट विथ काई स्क्वेयर टेस्ट आई कैन टेस्ट विथ मैन विटनी यू टेस्ट लॉट ऑफ टेस्ट आर देर सच टेस्ट आर नॉट अवेलेबल इन मैथमेटिक्स any other question then should we conclude so i hope i have replied your questions satisfactorily thank you for listening me patiently